The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Field, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Friday, and you're looking live at Tostitos Championship Plaza outside Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas. Where it is a beautiful 87 degrees. The high is 92. The low tonight is 67. It's Freaky Friday. Mm. Friday the 13th. I did not even know that until like an hour ago. Also, oh, let me say this first. That is Kurt. He is Nate. You are Shannon. In the back is Chris Bean. I am Salt and Pepper Poppy. Together we make Hanging with the Boys. The sports talk equivalent of Braille. People feel. Feel, feel, feel. When we speak. Brought to you each and every day by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. wings. All right, before we get into this thing, let me make a quick uh, um, shout out. So let me give a shout out to uh, Jacob Robles. Hey, Jacob. Jacob Robles. Um, is it Robles yeah. or Robles? Is it Robles? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's R-O-B-L-E-S. Yeah. Robles or Robles? What do you I think, don't... Kurt? You're the writer see. in the room. <laughs> He's Mexican. He looks. He has a picture. Oh. Oh, okay, so this is the guy who came by with the sign. Oh, He's yeah. Hispanic, so I'm going to go Robles. Okay. I'm going to go Robles, and if I'm wrong, <laughs> sorry. You know what I mean? Apologies. Uh, Jacob, let's just go with Jacob. Let's go with Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> but Jacob wanted to shout out, he just completed his second associate's degree. Hey. And he's a, uh, he's starting his new career in commercial uh, HAZVAC, was it, is it HAZVAC, HVAC, mm-hmm. uh, industry on Monday. Awesome. So shout out to Jacob. Uh, now that I gave you a shout out, if my AC goes down. Oh, uh, you knew there was something. Well, I mean, I, I don't really do stuff for money and I do stuff for free. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, want to give a shout out. Today is my brother's birthday. Happy oh. birthday. Uh, Jamel, my big brother. Today is his birthday. He's the governor mm-hmm. of Jersey, isn't he? He was the mayor. He's an assemblyman now and he's also on What's the- What's an assemblyman? Brother. That's like somebody asking me, like you know, yeah. asking you, like, that's "Hey, the bro, Jersey, that's the Jersey Mafia. You know, that's the what's <laughs> over, what's, what's over and under, right? right like, I, yeah, it's the government, it's the government, you know." Yeah. And um, today's his birthday. Happy birthday! And uh, we won't be on tomorrow, but tomorrow is my mom's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, mom! Nice. So, so Happy today's birthday. my brother's birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, Jamel! Yeah. And then, uh, mommy, happy birthday to you tomorrow. Here we go. Happy birthday. Nice. Listen to what I say, do when I say do it. We won't have any problems. You talking to your mom like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's she what you listen. call the LeBron's effect. <laughs> she don't listen. <laughs> no. I pay the bills. Yeah. I try to yeah. do right. I no, act listen. right. I'm respectful. And you go act like this and don't listen. I love you, but she don't listen. <laughs> How are we today? We good? Friday? Mm, we good. Heading, heading, Friday. Oh, hold heading hold into on, a game on, weekend. Jesse, you, you home do game. the action of that today. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. you, where you at? Where you at yesterday, yesterday, boy? You Oof. do that, Jess. No. Uh, how are you? How, uh, how Shannon, how, how are, are you? Are you? <laughs> how are you, brother? <laughs> y'all y'all <laughs> didn't come at me uh, right after. You good? <laughs> I am but good. you attacked Kurt is it, the show, is, it a li- is it a light day today? You just spotting? I'm good. Is it you just spotting? I don't know. Why don't you come over and find out? Table ain't that big. Come on. Over. You said that. You said that with your chest. You said that. Oh, had, hey, enough is enough. Yeah. You said that with your chest yeah. right there. You make wow. every word of that. That was you a made, young Sharpie, yeah. <laughs> and I mean that Sharpie. in more ways than one. I know that you like big black men. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we wow. go. <laughs> I see right, the way Kurt? you be cutting your yeah. eyes at me over there. Yeah. yeah, I had to make sure Kurt already he attacked Kurt, man, right off the show, oh, man. man. Here's some, some water since you know. Uh, I like your shirt, Kurt. Yeah. That's nice, uh-huh. yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know if it's that cold in here, but I mean uh, it's a yeah, nice, it's nice shirt. Whatever. Jesse Upstairs. What's your what's your shirt there today? You're the king of the shirts. Not really an athlete. Okay. This is there, is, is there this a meaning is, behind that? No, this is from the what's called a brand. You know the guy who does those funny edits? That after a game, and he goes like, uh, uh, he's like, uh, Johnson, piss down your leg. 
Yeah, uh, you know that guy. Around the table yeah, 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 yeah. So this is his T-shirt brand because because oh, okay. he'll go, he goes, he goes, look at you. Moment's too big, not really an athlete, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh. So this was his brand. Yeah, I, I thought Jason it. Garrett had gave it to you when he told you you wanted fifty-two. Oh, of you. <laughs> that hurts. I hate to let you go, oh. but wish you had fifty-two of you. Is really, that, Kobe? I'm not really an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> not really an athlete. <laughs> and what you got on over there? You, you uh, normally don't wear players club. Players club. Only players. Not only the player, but you're a player president. Is that true? Charity name, uh, name of our charity. Oh, okay. Well, the back in my high school. school. What's the J? What's the J? Yeah. Huh? The J. The Jones High, baby. Jones, Jones High. High. Jones okay. High. Is that where you went to high school? Yes. Really? Orlando, Florida, 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 baby. Okay. Number one high school in the world. All right. Hmm. Nice. Well, cool. And you played there? Or like now? Huh? No, no. We no. When we played there. It was a struggle because they wouldn't move us out of uh, out of five A. They we have a six or seven hundred students. They made us stay in 5A. Oh, so now you beat up. That, 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 boy, you talking about somebody used to be like. Y'all were in 5A with 600 students? Yeah, 600. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't move us out. Why? Because y'all were too good? I don't want to get into that why. The why. I'll tell y'all in the break. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, we got a big game this weekend. We do. That y'all have made me feel less and less confident in, but I think I'm back on the confidence train. So okay. I think. I believe. I feel. <laughs> I feel. We need to get some shirts. I believe. So a couple questions for you guys out of the gate. Ferguson said he has no pain. What, if you guys were the coach this early in the season when you may or may not need him, would you give him an extra week even if you thought he could play this week just to be safe? Yeah. And I know no, you know, I'm just going off player. If, 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 if our guy, Jim, Maurer, and Brit Brits, Brits say okay, okay. If they say no, then it's no. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think he hadn't practiced this week. He's been working out on the well, side. He missed the whole training camp and really not practicing. I don't worry yeah. about that. If they say okay, let so it he be. wasn't injured then. I, th- I think uh-huh. he's got to be. I mean, this early in the season, why? you know the player's going to want to play. Sometimes you got to save him from himself. Yeah. I, I, I want to see him play. This is Britain. I want to see him play, but if he ain't close to 100, I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't rest him. So the, from what the reports have been saying, They've said that he said, this is Ferg, that the pain tolerance is at zero. Right. So it's not hurting him. Mm-hmm. And if if Britt and if Jim are saying that he can't do anything to further damage it, then I say let him ride. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I say let him ride. The, the, the thing about injuries and being hurt is it's always a structural damage that they're going to look at first. And then can they, if so, is it going to go any further if he get hit or if he get twisted funny again? And your pain tolerance. And they got a and lot of good drugs over some, there. They got a they, lot. I'm going to take some right now. But that's the thing. And, and Jim, and, Jim <laughs> and, and Brett going to take you through a series of workouts where you cannot fake it because they know who you are, okay. how fast you can run, how much you've been cutting. So they tell them about Mr. Brown. No, no, Brit, Brit's going to – he's going to take <laughs> gonna, you through the ringers. If there's something wrong, he's going to find it. Yeah, yeah he's going to okay. take you through the ringers, but – Well, yeah, if they pass all that, but if there's yeah. any question, I would think they would – If there's question – if there's question from Brit and there's question from Jim, then he's done. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He's yeah. not playing. Save him. He's not going to play. <clears throat> but if they're like, hey, look fine to us. Everything's clear on our end. Now, does that change the further you get into – like if this was a big game at the end of the year to get in the playoffs and like – this is a big game. Yeah, I'll keep taking. I, no, no, no. I'm, they, I'm saying like this. This could make or break your season. No, from from Brit, from like Brit and and Jim's standpoint, yeah. it don't matter. About game that. one, Super Bowl. Bowl yeah, their 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 goal is we have to uphold the medical standard. Mm-hmm. That we're not. We don't care if it's That's preseason game yeah. number three yeah. or NFC Championship game. If medically from what our what we took an oath to say yeah and to follow if he doesn't meet the criteria of that doesn't play we're not signing off on it now does the next question is does the player have the ultimate say where they say that's Jason Witten 
Here's, Remember? Here's what here's what can happen if you yeah, Jerry do. Jerry found him a doctor somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, here's the, <laughs> I'm trying to give it to him. I know what he's finna ask. Yeah. And just Jason Whitner tell you, if I can go find me a doctor and I can get the big dog upstairs to sign off on it, I'm playing. Mm. It's always a doctor out there willing to take a little something, you know, yeah. and the big dog upstairs say, he can play. <laughs> Let him play. Okay. That was my question. All right. I think we answered that one, Kurt. Yeah, I guess so. All right, question number two. Hmm. Uh, Kubiak was on Zimmer staff in Minnesota. Anytime a, a a coach has been on the staff with another coach, does that give them any kind of advantage? I guess it kind of cancels each other out, right? In my quick expert opinion, if you had a better players, it does. If you don't. <laughs> 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 no, I just, I'm through with it. So just to go a little deeper. That's it. You just said it. I think, I think that. But – for 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 that, it's when you get a chance to know a person's tendencies. Yes. Right. Because if if I get a chance to know, I know you. Mm-hmm. I know how you think. I know how you roll. I kind of sometimes know how you move a little bit, and that gives me an, that gives me. A, I'm not gonna say an advantage. It gives me a better understanding about how I should now move. Um, but when you work together with somebody, the, the the hope is that they know the same thing about you that you know mm-hmm. about them. You That's know what right. I mean? That's if, right. If if you went and you took all of Zim's film, there is something that's tracking, right? Like you'd be like, hey, listen, when it's third and seven. He really likes this look. If, if, if it's third and seven and they're 11 personnel, man, over the top, over the last four games that we watch, they're going to be in this 67% of the time. That's a, that, that's a high enough in football. That's a high enough percentage where you can go. That's concrete. If he's going to do this 67% of the time, 70% of the time, that's a concrete fact. Mm-hmm. We, 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 we can, we can, we can kind of almost hang our hat that if we get in third and seven to 10 or seven to 11 and we in 11 personnel, they're going to do this then you can kind of play off that and give your team – and it's either way, both ways. We can give our team an opportunity to kind of combat that. But to Nate's point, you can call the right play if you want <laughs> and be in the right spots if you want. <laughs> but if their Jimmy, Jimmys and Joes are better than your Jimmys and Joes, won't make a difference or vice versa. You know, I agree 100%. And then the worst thing in the world is when you see that 67% and you've heard Tony do it, uh, Romo, and the player – Always do the same thing. Yeah. Most quarterback eyes are light up. We got what we need, and they're going to do something funny over there to make that receiver know we got what we need. There were times when playing under Jason Garrett, and this is not a dig at Jason Garrett, but, I mean, whatever. Um, <laughs> but it kind of is. But it kind of <laughs> is. Where he became so redundant on third downs where he was running a Harvey route. To I'm standing on the sideline, and – watching the offense play, and I can hear the DB say, here come that Harvey route, here come that Harvey route. And he look at our receivers like, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> they like, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, because Y'all, y'all didn't never change it up as players? Yeah, Just say, hey, man. When... Sometimes, but but and then sometimes it locks. Right. It's a lock route. You know okay, what I mean? You okay. might have something that come behind it. It's a lock right, route. Right, right. And, you know, you see guys be like. What? <laughs> On the <laughs> flip side of that, I've heard – Multiple places, this show, outside of this show, when the offense comes to the line and they have a certain play called and they get a certain look, they're like, this is a touchdown. Yeah. Like yeah. what when you when what look do you have to have? Does it just depend on the play and what I'll give, it is? I'll give you an yeah. example, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Not to put me on a pedestal, but the San Francisco play, mm-hmm. right? When we broke the huddle, we knew when Dante Witness started creeping down, I knew it. Tony, every everyone on our sideline knew this is gonna work. Now, do you get really nervous and go like like you? <laughs> this is coming to me. No, I didn't. Get, I got to ca- I, I got to catch not, this not ball. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. <laughs> I know I'm a professional. But even a professional would be no. like, this is it. The game's on the line. No. This is coming to me. <laughs> no. No. You're just you're I was a little shell shocked that they even called it when I was in the huddle. That was the part that got shocked. I <laughs> after was, that you After good. that I was like, "All right, I'm here now." Like, now I got to play football. But to, I, I say that to say 
when we saw that look, if you go back, because the play, if you go back and listen to that play, you'll hear, you'll hear Tony go, kill, 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 because it was a run first. Mm-hmm. It was a run to that play. It was a run, kill to that play. If we got the look, he was killing to that play. Mm-hmm. We got the look, and we won't, once he killed it, we was like, oh. And you saw Dante. This creeping up it on should have been death. a touchdown. I get it. Okay, guys. <laughs> we said yeah. this. Is t- I said it like this. Is, this going to work. So your shirt proved to be true with the story. What shirt? Not really at after. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. That's a good one. That's a good one. You got to put a. You got to put a. You got to put one more word in there. That's not really a, a fast, fast athlete. athlete. <laughs> <laughs> but to your point, yes, yes. Did y'all ever know that with the running play? Back in the day, oh, like not a running play. No, you you. It's just so many variables that can go wrong with a running play. Whereas if a safety come down or a corner drop back too far, you could certain things. You like, yeah, I got this dude. But in running play, I can look at it on my side and I don't know what's going on over yeah. there on that other side. A lot of times. and even sometimes with running plays, yeah. you can block it up and then they'll go, all right, running back. This last guy, you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah. they'll tell a running back, like, listen, we got everything else blocked up. This one, this one last dude, this, hey, <laughs> are you an athlete or are you not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can you? And so sometimes, like, when the running plays, you can do everything right, and there's still going to be a guy that the running back has to account for. Yes. So how often per game does it happen multiple times a game where, you're, where you have a play like that where you're like, okay, this is going for a touchdown? Or is it once every three games? Like, how often does no, it, it happen? It happens every game, but you can't tell the defensive line how to react. Right, yeah. How the right. offensive lineman who missed the block. Right. So, there, <laughs> you know, so yeah. there's there's usually a, a couple oh, yeah. plays a game oh, yeah. on both sides where it's like, oh, yeah. if that dude didn't break free, like this Oh, you go back be, and you watch Philly, yeah. but like, and and that was it. Uh, and I'm telling you, it. during the game, your offensive coordinator and your head coach swallow back a lot of cussing a lot of times <laughs> during the game. I'm telling you. Noah Turner used to be like, he'll look at me like, and I said, like, what went wrong? I jumped off sides. Of something for Nora to look at me. Something, something was looking good. Back mm-hmm. down, you know, like they had to match up. Yeah. Each other, yeah. Or yeah. All right, let's take our first break. When we come back, if you've been wondering why these DBs have been balling out for the last what three years, <laughs> we are going to not only tell you why, we're going to show you why. Mm. So you're not going to want to miss this. And cool. and if you know if you're listening. You're gonna to want to come back and watch because this is might be the best thing I've I've seen in <laughs> wow. a long, long time. Right. On hanging with the boys, be right back. Hey, Cowboys fans! As official whiskey sponsor of the NFL, it's not a kickoff without the generous spirit of Crown Royal, and that's why we've built the Crown Royal Rig. <laughs> An absurdly awesome 18-wheeler delivering the generous spirit to stadiums and tailgates across the country. Follow the Royal Rig on its journey from city to city, bringing together local cuisine, NFL legends, and the opportunity to pack a purple bag for charity and win tickets to Super Bowl 59. Visit crownroyal.com for rules and more. Please drink responsibly. Hey, Cowboy fans. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. But lately, I've been learning a new game. Crypto. Sound confusing? Don't worry. Even us pros were rookies in crypto once. That's why I trust Blockchain.com. They make crypto easy. No confusing jargon, just the tools to help you win. Prescott keeps it, slides with a first down. Invest like your icons, where everyone is a rookie in crypto, with Blockchain.com. Perfect throw, my goodness. Wow, did he ever thread the needle. Visit Blockchain.com slash Cowboys to get started. How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection, and sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop Ranch. And of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. Hey, Cowboys fans, our 2024 football season is here, and SeatGeek is here to help you experience all the action. SeatGeek makes it easy to find tickets so you can be a part of all the touchdown celebrations this season. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to Cowboys football games or to any other live event, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek is the official primary ticketing partner of the Dallas Cowboys. The most disruptive idea in ticketing? A ticket that works. Expect the expected. SeatGeek. Back to hanging with the boys. 
Welcome back to the second segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Blockchain.com. Thank you, Blockchain.com. Kurt. Yes. 7-Eleven. Tell team, me. Teaming up with Fanatics to give you the yeah. chance to be a VIP at next year's Fanatics Fest from now until October the 29th. Use the 7 Rewards app at Pump 8 mm. and check out to be entered <laughs> for a chance to win when picking up products like Slurpee. <laughs> Big gulp. Mm. In taquitos, no purchase necessary. Pump Terms three times. Apply. <laughs> I know. Hey guys. Like, oh, big gulps, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, see you, see you later. later. All righty. Welcome back to the show. So we are going to show you why these DBs have been balling out. They got slurpees. Mm. Mm. They got slurpees. They got big gulps. They stop and get taquitos. Trayvon, and, Trayvon Diggs does have a. He and Micah does have. They do have a. Um, Sponsorship deal? Yeah, 7 Eleven deal. Don't they they did. Right? They did. They don't, don't anymore. I don't know if they still do or not. Okay. Yeah, we did some stuff with them for money back in the day <laughs> for 7 Eleven. So, Chris, bring up our visual component. And for those of you looking and watching on YouTube or oh, the app or whatever, <laughs> and you're probably wondering, is that old dirty bastard <laughs> on the screen right now? No, that is your. That is your. Assistant head coach. coach. Yes. <laughs> Al Harris, back in the day, he posted this on Instagram, uh, I think, day before yesterday. And I had to do a double take and read the caption to make sure. I was like, what does he post? That's him. That's unbelievable. You talking about crazy looking, just a dog. Shout out to my homegirl, uh, my homegirl Shelby. She loves Al Harris. And Shells, I don't know if this is the guy that you love. I mean, you might love the more refined. But then again, she likes all, the shirtless all, Yeah, she likes shirtless. But all the good girls like Same. bad guys. Like, Come on, you got to stop that. You got to. But you know what's funny about this right here? I think we've all gone through some sort of metamorphosis in our time. Oh, yeah. That picture, to me, this is what I get from this picture. Uh-huh. That's what he's instilling in these DBs. Mm-hmm. That like what that look, that attitude. He looks crazy, right? Like he looks wild. And, and I, I don't know if I said this on this show before, but my first team was the Bengals, and there was one dude who Chad, excuse me, Chad Ochocinco had the most utmost respect for, mm-hmm. Al Harris. He, I mean, because they're Florida boys. Mm-hmm. And he spoke with the most respect about any. You know, he, this is Chad. He played some guys. Too. This is he Chad. This dudes. is Chad sending the Pepto Bismol because he's gonna make DB sick. Mm-hmm. He always kept the utmost respect and spoke in such high regard for Al Harris. He, he was the one press cover dude that he was always like, "That's that, that dude. Get his hands on you." You cancel Christmas is over for you. It was Al Harris? So I see this. I saw that. I see that picture that that we just had up there, and I say to myself, we see that we see the refined, we see the new clean cut. We don't did the, the 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 gold slugs ain't in his mouth no more. But that attitude doesn't leave. Like that look in the eyes, that crazy look in the eyes, that doesn't leave you. You control it. You have a better understanding. But the competitive juices that's flowing through that dude yeah. <laughs> is is what you see that he puts into when you see Trayvon look at, look at the report and go, repeat that? That a trick question? Mm-hmm. He's a good player. Let me say this. <clears throat> and I hate to say this, but I, I, I've been looking at certain – he give a new meaning to gold teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Them his real teeth, man. I'm like, coach. Coach teeth ain't like that now. Nah, I promise no, y'all. No, nah, he's making, he making good yeah. money now. Yeah, he, got he, good, yeah. he got good dental plan. Yeah. I for, mean, boy, like he eats you up, man, with them things. Boy, <laughs> for those of you that couldn't see it, 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 it's a picture of Al, like gold teeth, gold cap teeth, not a grill. I think those are his real teeth. It might, yeah. might be. With the NFL, you can tell he's got like a jersey on with pads, and you can see the NFL shield, and it's his hair before it. Before it got real long, long so it's yeah. wild looking, and he just got this face like, like I, a will, Florida boy. I will eat you. He looks like a, he looks like up, he man. looks like one of them Florida boys that 
came up out back the trenches. In the, back in the day. Yeah, somebody that was over there in Little Haiti from, or man? Opelaka or <laughs> let me see. Where's Al? I'm from? about to tell you right now. And let me he see. has the cat. Go check Florida. him at Mr. Harris.31. Yeah. M-R-H-A-R-R-I-S dot three one on Instagram. And the caption is Yee! A blast from the past, 1999. Yeah, see? Co- Coconut Creek. He is from Broward County. There Pompano. you go. Pompano. Pompano. Somewhere in there. Yeah. So at yeah. Pompano Beach. I just saw that and I thought it was hilarious. There, Chris put it back up again. I thought it was one, it it doesn't look like him. Two, he put it on his Instagram, so he put it out there. And three, it's just that wild look. Al's, <laughs> Al's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, coach on the coaching yeah. staff. But don't don't get it confused, man. He is Pompano Beach, <laughs> Broward County, Florida boy. What you see in that picture. I'm telling you, what you see in has, that picture, has translated to the field with with these with these that, guys, these you don't, young guys. You don't lose that. You you don't you don't lose that. I'm telling you, like we laugh about Nate and and on pitches back in the day when he had like, that that Nate look. Mm-hmm. It's still in there. That's it, that him, man. One hundred percent. Cross him if you want to. Yeah. He, he, no, he, no, I don't, I don't get it. No, listen, let me tell y'all something right now. Oh, look at that. Uh, look, yeah, how you doing, <laughs> Look, Nate? I'm telling y'all something right now. Nate is refined. He is, he's been, he's been, he's been washed. Yeah. He's been washed. Yeah. <laughs> but of blood. But if, yeah. you, but if you threaten his family. Or his, oh, yeah. Look. Oh yeah. yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, 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 yeah. don't play around. Like, don't, yeah. don't play around. He he he! I, I'm telling you, he cool, he calm. He like, man, I'm good. I ain't got. Like ain't. yesterday, we was walking down the hall and Jesse noticed something, like, and I like, yeah, that's why I wasn't laughing too hard. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah, yeah. It straight out somebody. Yeah. You know? But I got home, I said, baby, be careful. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. don't don't don't. When we see that that picture of Nate with no cornrows and he looking like he'll bite your face off, <laughs> it's still in there, huh? You don't lose it, that. You don't. It, it Kurt, do die. you have that? Uh, you had that dog in you somewhere lurking. It, okay, it stays deep yeah. down. Way <laughs> deep. Huh? I kind of, if I don't stay here, I'm yeah. up here. See? Right. Wow. <laughs> I can't see Kurt. Oh no, no. This is this is the type of person. Oh right yeah, here. that's the one that snap, <laughs> snap. Yeah. You'd be like, man, Kurt, rip was, your whole head off. Kurt was 60 years old, man. Now you're doing a stretch of 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he finally he held, snapped. Held it together for yeah. 60 years. <laughs> All right, let's take some phone calls. 888-855-2297. Do we have one, Chris? <laughs> Don't start. We do. Don't do this to my Friday, y'all. Do we have a live one? Yes, we do. It's Antonio from oh, South God. Carolina. <laughs> we need past the call. Antonio, what's that? up? Hey, how you guys doing? We're, We're good. good, brother. Uh, first, before, I, I, I got a bone to pick with uh, Mr. 7-Eleven, Jesse over there in Shannon. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What we do? Ain't no big deal. How in the world? Where's y'all face, man? Ten or seven? Really? Come on, man. What's that? Say? Ten and seven record. Oh, ten and seven? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I just call like I see it, my boy. I just listen. We can revisit this. Now don't. Now don't. All of a sudden, when we get to the end of the year, <laughs> you all of a sudden your phone don't dial out. <laughs> oh okay? no no no! I don't I don't disappear like other cowboys saying. Okay. You know that's those oh, you are the ones I You don't I disappear hate. like the cowboy doing a. No mind. Oh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna <laughs> man, do that. Man, you crazy, man. Oh, okay, okay. Now nah, what's up? Now, what, what? now, now, now you sound like your boy Rashard McKent. You know he he's oh, not going off no. the rails. You know, anytime you get compared to that dude, that's bad. Don't don't do me like that. <laughs> I, I, don't I, I do me like that. Yeah. What you got for us, brother? Well, I want to make a prediction for uh, Sunday. Okay. And, oh, before before I go there, I'm glad we brought Mike Zimmer in. He's the key to beating the Forty Winers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Forty so, Winers. Mm-hmm. So I, like I said, what, 35 10. Ooh, 35 10. Oh, wow. nice. Saints? <laughs> yes. So they, they coming into our house. 30, 35 10 Saints or 35 10 Cowboys? Dallas. Okay. All right. That's a good whooping. prediction. That's, that's a whooping. That's... Thank you for the call, Antonio. Well, we we'll, scoring them many points. We'll put you in the mix. Oh, Jesus, where are we going? <laughs> Before we take another call, uh, here's a great stat. This is, this is kind of amazing. Thanks for pulling this up, Kurt. According to Nick Harris, last time Dallas won a game when scoring less than 20 points was a 13 to 10 win over New Orleans in 2018. I remember that. That was here at home. That was yeah. a, that was a Well, yeah, you just Why you did they do that, man? What? Well, that ain't no good stat, man. You could have kept that one. They yeah, owe, Nick, they owe in 20 owe in 23 <laughs> cents. That is unbelievable. No Got to score over 20 points. 
When they don't score 20 points since stop, 2018, stop. they're 0 and 23. That don't affect you. I mean, me and Jesse give you the real, and you want to bring back that history. Come on, man, stop. <laughs> no, I mean, they're due to break out of that. All they can do is score 20. You see what this dude doing to himself? They're going to score more than 20 this yeah. week. I ain't worried about this week. I, that's just an amazing stat that's linked to New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Like, that's. That's that voodoo. You may get us, but we'll get you, okay? <laughs> Chris, we got another one? Yes, we do. We got two more. Okay. Muhammad and hey, hey, what's up, Muhammad? Hey, guys. I'm glad to be back. Um, after that Cleveland win, felt like, uh, you know, my son graduated or had a baby. It was wonderful. Uh, and, uh, you know, you guys talked about Nate's look. I have a question about a show that comes on after the Cowboys game called the OT. It's hosted by Kyle Yeomans and, and Barry Church, Isaiah Stanback, and another guy. He wears a suit, and he talks exactly like, you know, he acts like Nate, but he doesn't look like Nate, the ones we know on Hanging with the Boys. So maybe they should call that, that show Hanging with the Gentleman because he really acts like a true gentleman. Are you saying he doesn't know and, our uh, show? Wonderful. No, um, I don't. Oh, I don't act like a gentleman. <laughs> nah. it's Not what Jesse it, been saying. It's, the last it's few something days. about when he put that coat and tie uh, on. Oh, yeah. You know, he, you know, he, he, he turns he, all professional. He keeps talking about. Jesse TP and I found out what Jesse's trailer parks are. You know, I I could reply to a, a tweet for Jesse, and then I I get back a, a laugh from Jesse or something, and and there's a like. So when I click on that like, there are always ladies with uh, sweet names like sugar or candy or licorice, <laughs> and they have these, these funny funny licorice. pictures on them, and I say. Boy, if I block this, am I blocking one of Jesse's friends or something? So I, I wonder if I can block these pictures or something. Because nah, I, I can't have them on, the, on my phone. You put in, in your toes and feet on it, Jesse? And what? Oh, you, you put, yeah. No, I keep my private life private. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, you don't told us about the toes and feet, so you know, you can no, post it up. I, don't, I can't show you out of ones, though. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, have couple, hey, I have hey, a couple. Hey, Mo, you block those people. You block them. Okay, I'll block them. Yes. I'm, I'm going to send you guys some money for Wingstop for next week if the Cowboys beat the Saints, inshallah. Let's so, go, Cowboys! Um, oh, yeah. I, have a, I have a question about the, the uh, a football question. Does the new kickoff rule eliminate the onside kick? That's one question. And the other question is, can you explain the off, new offside rules? Because we saw a lot of flags that filled the... the, the a uh, few games that started with nobody moving on the on the offense, mm-hmm. but they still got flagged. Yep. I, I just like uh, for you to explain that. Hey, Thank Mo, you very much. Mo, before they do that, give us your prediction before we let you go. Uh, by one point. Cowboys by one point. Cowboys I'm by stick one. stick with Nate on that. All right. Sounds yeah. good. Thanks for calling in, Mo. So first question. That's a great question. I don't even know. So the onside okay. kick. Yeah. So the onside kick, you now have to announce you it. You have to declare it. You mm-hmm. have to announce it and declare that you're kicking an onside kick. Same rules apply. You still have to line up the same kind of way, but you can't, there's no more surprise onside kick. So the days of Sean Payton in the <laughs> Super Bowl doing an onside but I, kick. But I think they go back to their – Close. Yeah, original the old school. school. Yeah, 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 old school. Old yeah, you just have to yeah. just have to now. You just can't all surprise. And it has to be side. in the fourth quarter. That's true. Yes. Yeah. The fourth it can quarter. only be fourth quarter. Right. Yes. Yeah, only fourth quarter. So right. what you've been seeing? So they're they're making an emphasis on your tackles, not setting so far back. So Where it's like a V instead of a straight so, line. Yes. Yeah, so now you have to break the waistband of the tackle's helmet. Your left and right tackle's helmet have to break the waistband of the center. Because tackles were setting so far back, it was giving them almost, it was giving them a, a great advantage to now. I'm really back here waiting on you. Mm-hmm. You got three full steps now. You have to get to me. So they're 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 making an emphasis on your left and right tackle. Their heads of the left and right tackle have to break the waistband of the center. That way, they're trying to keep it somewhat so that the offensive lineman already they're already kicking back quick. But if you're already set back there, you're just waiting for the defender to get there. You ain't going to never beat that dude. You ain't going to never beat him around. Yeah, Yeah. you're never going to beat a guy like that. So they're just trying to make those offensive linemen scoot back up towards the line of scrimmage to kind of make that even. Uh, Of course, you know that was a complaint by all the defensive coordinators and defensive players throughout the league Mm -hmm. because those tackles, again, were setting back so far. Uh, So, yeah, so just when you look, when they're throwing those flags, it's because the, uh, the, the, the head of the right and left tackle are not breaking the waistband of the center. You know what? You know, 
why does the NFL and I, a lot baseball does it, uh, basketball they are just quicker than anybody. Move the kicker back ten to fifteen yards. Move the kicker back, so we can really make people return the ball if that's what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. And you can put everything yeah. back like it was. Yeah. Just move the kicker back. So he can't reach the back of the end zone. Yeah. I, 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 why do we have to go through, and I guess it's good fodder, because that's all it is to me. We, we sit here talking about a great way to break it down, just way to break it down, but move the thing man back. Come on, dog. <laughs> move it back. Move it back yeah. to the next break. Yeah. And then we'll take another phone call or two when we come back. In the last segment, hanging with the boys. Break the waistband. There is no I in Dallas. There is no I in Hart either. No I in Blue Star or in Lone Star for that matter. And there's no I in How About Them Cowboys. Smirnoff knows there's no I in football. Football is a we thing, an experience that is best enjoyed together. With good drinks and good folks, home or away, we rally together. We cry together. And we always rally cry together because there's definitely no I in Cowboys fans. Smirnoff, we do game days. Please drink responsibly. How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection. And sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. And, of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. Fall is here, and that means football is back, bringing all the delicious game day foods with it. As you prep for all the big games, tailgates, and watch parties, let Yokiero be your one-stop destination for all things home gating. Yokiero's fresh, flavorful, ready-to-serve guacamole made with real Hass avocados will score taste bud touchdowns as you cheer on the Cowboys. Yokiero's wide range of mouth-watering and versatile products can be found in your local grocery store's produce or deli section. Grab some today. Hey, Cowboys fans, a 2024 football season is here, and SeatGeek is here to help you experience all the action. SeatGeek makes it easy to find tickets so you can be a part of all the touchdown celebrations this season. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to Cowboys football games or to any other live event, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek is the official primary ticketing partner of the Dallas Cowboys. The most disruptive idea in ticketing? A ticket that works. Expect the expected. SeatGeek. Back to hanging with the boys. Welcome back to the final segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Jigsaw, the proud dating partner of the Dallas Cowboys. We're going to give you our predictions here shortly. Before we go back to the phones, question for you, Nate. Per ESPN, Chase Young was the NFL's fastest pass rusher off the snap in week one. Could he be... One, that made me realize that every week, Guyton is going to be facing a different a different type of rusher every week. Now, some weeks you may have somebody that's similar to somebody, but you got a fast guy. Like you said, Garrett likes to lean on you and then get around you. You're going to have some bull rush guys. You're going to have some spin guys, some some stunt guys. This so guy here is going to be a different challenge every week. Could this be more of a problem for him than He's Miles long. Garrett? He's lean. He's powerful. But he don't have the burst. Now, and, and I don't know if that burst will come back this year because what he's two years out from his surgery. So he, but he has all the measurables that that hurts tackles. Long, lean, uh, athletic, but I don't know if he still has that burst. Burst, but he does play in all the nickel situations, all probable pass rush situations. He is in at the right side mainly, you know, his our left side. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but he, if anybody's built to get after this guy, uh, Tyler Guyton, this guy's built. I'm just hoping that, you know, the cowboy effect don't come into because when people normally play the cowboys <laughs> and they want to be seen, it's against us. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah, he's, he's, he's still a good player. I don't know if he's still that great player he was a couple of years ago. Yeah, they're saying he has more. He's healthy. So yes. Could be a, 
Say his name real loud. What's his name, Kurt? <laughs> Chase Young. Yeah. Uh, Jinx him. Jinx him. We don't want him hurt. We don't want him hurt. We just want him to have a bad game. Put that voodoo, that voodoo on him, Kurt. Put that voodoo on him. All right, let's go to the phones for one more call. Who we got, Chris? Yay! Let's go! We need a good, we need, good a, we need a good blessing on before this show. You right start, here. We before you stop, Pastor. We need a cleansing start. on this show, Pastor. <laughs> Your boy Jesse has been attacking Shannon with ugly things. Not please, very, please not, say not something. Not very Christian like this. Not week, very Pastor. Christian like. I'm telling you, man. Please. Computer even told me he wasn't acting very Christian, Christian like, like this. Yeah. Week. So now, okay, Pastor, Pastor. Don't believe them. Don't believe they them. Hear, Pastor, he, he listens. Don't, don't, listen. Listen. don't listen to them, man. Put some hands on it, Pastor. Listen, don't listen to them, man. Wait, a lot don't the, care the, who the tell reason, it. The reason I'm here is because Justin Summer, he said, I think we need the Pastor to call now. So I said, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason why I called in. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you. See, I'm the I'm the one that's trying to get this show blushed. For real, you wait, heathen. Wait, he's going to call you, Pastor. Y'all are too much, man. How y'all been, man? How y'all right. doing? We good, right. good, good, man. Good We're perfect, brother. Good to hear from you. Yeah, good to hear from you all as well. I'm, I'm excited about this year. I think if we can just continue to to improve every game, uh, we should be sitting in a good position. Um, I think this is this game is going to tell us a lot about who we are. I'm really looking at the offensive line because I really want to see us run the ball um, and try to do some things um, with that. I really like what um, what Detroit did to the to the Rams in the overtime, and I know that we have the weapons to do that. But I think we got the offensive line to do that if we need to close out the game. I think we'll win. Um, I, I think it'll be close in the beginning, but I think we'll pull away. But I really want to see um, this offensive line just impose his will, you know, on the um, on the defensive line, so we can. Um, get back to that bully ball and um, put some fear in the eyes of the other teams and let them know that we can beat them multiple ways. So that's what I'm praying for. What's your, uh, what's your score prediction, Pastor? Uh, I'm going to say 35-13. Uh, Jess, you got people to believe it. Is these uh, Saints 47 strong? No, they're not. But they're – then, but you didn't say nothing about their defense, and everybody crushing their defense. And I think that's the strength of the team. Jeez. Y'all got some high well, scores, not, man. No, but the defense, defense, that defense is okay, man. But you, you, Carolina's not a good sample size. No, it isn't. You know, I and, agree and, and we and we and we got and we got, and we got Dak Prescott. So I just, you know, they can't do the same thing they try to do to Carolina with us. They will right. eat up. Right. All right. Well, good to hear from you, Pastor. Let's call back in next week. We need. We'll see how this. Uh... Hold on. Hold on. I feel a vibration. All right. All right. Jesse ain't shaking yet, Pastor. Keep going. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, we miss you, man. Thanks for calling in and go Cowboys. Yes, sir. Thank right. you, Pastor. Thank you know, we are such an unserious show, bro. You I'm know telling what? you, man. We don't take I, nothing. Serious. We need to change. I think we need to change the moniker of this show. This used to be the people show. You know what it needs to be now? What's that? The show where you can be whoever you want to be. I hear you, my brother. Because all you got to do, think about it. Now, I'm not doubting Pastor. Right, I'm right. I'm not doubting Muhammad. Right. But you can call in here and say you are anything, anywhere, anybody – and we will believe you yeah. because we uplift the people, right? Yeah. yeah. The show where you can be whatever you want to be. You can be from Kuwait. You can be a pastor. You, you can be a truck driver. Think you can guests are telling stories? Huh? You no, guests... not at all. And I'm you just will saying. get at least one free speech sample size from Jesse before you have to pay. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Before he starts panhandling. Yeah. First one's always free. free. Yeah. Before you get the panhandle yeah. request. Wow. Before you get that Venmo address. Yeah. We got HVAC people. We got one yeah. boy, yeah. one boy yeah. graduating. Yeah. HVAC. Yeah. We got everybody, man. Wow. We That's got sweet. All, all kinds, man. All walks so, of life. We got, so call yeah. us. Call us next week. We'll, we'll, we got conspiracy theorists. Oh, everywhere. Because I'm the only person that's fearing <laughs> Tuesdays and Fridays. Saints. Let's get back to that. The show where you can call in and be whoever you want to be. That's going to with the Tuesdays gotta, and Fridays. I just got a feeling that that's, that's going to take, take a life wild of its own. turn, man. Yeah, I like that. That's going to take I'm a ready. wild <laughs> turn. I'm be ready. who you want to be. It's going to take a wild. We're going to need to pass them more than you think. Uh, I'm ready. Let's <laughs> go. That's what the show's all about. Because I'm the only one about. fearing the Saints. We're about to find out. Nate, what is your prediction for the week? If we get out of it, this thing going to be close, man. I think these guys running with a lot of confidence. We got to hammer their heads early, man. Here it comes. Yes, man. Uh, Cowboys by 80. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> it, it ain't going to take a long field goal. We may have to just go down here, man. Yeah, you know, we're going to beat them uh, 13. Oh, you going to give a 14, score? Uh, 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14
They got to score 14, 20. Nine. We're going to beat them 14. They got to score 20. 14 and nine. 14, Nate nine. gave a score this week. 14, watch him. Nine. Watch him. Is I'm the only one fearing Watch him. lost. Watch, loss. <laughs> watch him hit it right on the head. I know. One right? time he gives us an actual <laughs> score, he's going to nail it. Nine. Kurt, what do you got? Wow. Uh, Cowboys. They're going to win this one. Good. Um, well, 20, you're picking them this week, I'm huh? So oh, hey, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Got burned last week. I know huh? it. I know it. 24 uh, 10. 24 10. Chris. Cowboys, let's go 35-17. Oh, 35-17. They have no respect for their defense, man. <laughs> Jesse. Um, I got the Cowboys 29-17. Why, Jess? Why? 17. Talk to me. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just sound like a good number to go. I want to go into the 30s, but I want to keep it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kurt, what did you say? Sorry. 24-10. 24-10, and I'm going to go – I think the Cowboys hold them under under 20, so I'm going to go 17, and I'm going to go 30. 30 to Man. 17. Oh. oh. We didn't scare you bad enough, did we? Nah. <laughs> nah, I talked myself out of it. I talked to myself for two hours last night. I'm back, I'm back on top of the mountain. What did self say? Y'all tried to push me push me off. I guess looking at the Al Harris uh, picture all day just, yeah, just got you hype. Hey, if that doesn't get you hype, <laughs> go look at that <laughs> picture. That will get you hype for this week. How many pictures? Do you want Jazz's, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know she was back there. Oh, she's back here. Yeah, yeah. What's Hold she got? What do you got, Jess? 28-10, Cowboys. 28-10. Hey, go ahead and get Josh. He back there? Josh is back here. What's up? 40-20, Cowboys. Whoa! 40-20. Blow it out of water. water. Wow. Whoa. Go look got at, a full house back here today. How many, how many picks do we think they're going to have this week after Al Harris posting his yee pick? One. one. Oh, let's do that. One pick. Jesse got one pick. Kurt. How many picks the Cowboys are going to have? Yeah. Uh, two, two. For, Nate, nice. zero, zero. Chris, I say you're gonna have two picks. Eight. Two picks. Jazz, Jazz. Three. three picks. Josh, Josh. What is it? Picks. How many picks this week? Picks. Three. Kurt, what'd you say? Two, two. I I'm said a, two as well. I'm gonna well, go. How much you, Jess? I'm gonna go. I said. What did I say? Jesse I said, one. said one. I'm gonna go three. You post a picture like that, you, I might go four. I'm gonna go four. You bug it. I'm gonna go four picks. Put this me week. down for one. They're fumble. playing David Put me Carr down for one fumble. at home <laughs> one with that with that one fumble. One fumble. Got one fumble. You know, this might be an hour hour long show. Yeah. We keep going. Don't right, no worry. They they all fumble. show up early to listen to us anyway. That's right. Heckman came here early yesterday, y'all. Oh yeah. At, at twelve o'clock. He's, yeah, I, I showed we, up early. He showed up. early. We've all done that, right? Hell, I came up here for a show. Wasn't nobody <laughs> even here. <laughs> you sure uh, did. Yeah. But he's but Ed was like, "Hey Nate, you late?" I'm like, "Are you sure?" What? Yep. It's a quarter. Uh, it's a quarter to one. So we will leave you with this. Take a look at your screen. A new, me, a new meaning to grill, baby. Four interceptions. <laughs> a new meaning. And to if they grill. win, if they get four interceptions this week, he's got to post that every week. <laughs> Every week, the rest of the season. I like it. Nate, good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, Jesse, man. good that's show, a, man. That's how you look at Carson when he dropped Kurt, interceptions. Good seeing <laughs> you. <laughs> Chris, thanks for keeping us on the air. Jazz and Josh, thanks for keeping Chris company in the back. We will be back on Victory Monday. Go Cowboys! We out! This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?